Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the effects, video presets in Reaper. I have a project set up here with two video files. And I put the video window up here, docked, with the time code over here. Let's see what we have. That's the first video. And this is the second one. Now, if I want to work with video in Reaper, we want to add plugins to the video track. So we'll go to the track effects and we'll choose under all plugins, the video processor. And it comes with a whole bunch of presets. In a previous video, I went over the transition ones, and the basic helpers. In this video, we're gonna focus on the effects. But before we do that, I just wanna make a quick adjustment. So I'm gonna choose the brightness and contrast to make adjustments to this video. I'm just gonna make it brighter, a little more contrast, and a little more color. Just to remind us that it makes sense to layer our effects for our video. So instead of changing our preset, we're going to add another instantiation of the video processor to this track right over here. And we'll change the preset on that one. So let's go to the effects right here, starting with blitter feedback, which is going to create this rotating or twirl type filter. We could zoom out, rotate it more or less, zoom in and create this twirl type effect on our video. Let's try another one. This one is a Gaussian blur, which is a soft glowing blur effect. We could bring it down for less or bring it up for more and create that effect on our video. And we can readjust the Y modifier to adjust the up and down or motion in the blur. But there's another blur over here. Blur low quality. This is more of a standard blur effect. We could turn it off, bring it up, readjust the Y. But we could also use this as a transition. So we could bring it down all the way, choose this as the last touched parameter, and go to our menu and choose track envelope. Then we can automate that effect. We'll create a point here, here, and here by holding down shift and readjust the blur right here. So we can create a transition that's gonna blur from one section to another. We can make it longer by creating another point and make it a transition instead from one video to the other. So it blurs and switches to the next video, creating a blur transition. We could also colorize the video right here, which is gonna remove the video color and colorize it based on our hue. More of a green or yellow or orange or magenta. And we can adjust the saturation right here. Black and white, we're just adding a bit of color. Then we can adjust the brightness or the contrast over here. This could also be used to create a sepia tone type effect. So we could bring up saturation, find this color kind of a yellow orange, bring down the saturation and create a sepia tone type effect. Bring up the brightness and some contrast. And then we could add a vignette effect on top. Right down over here. Bring in the size, keep it round and create that old timey video effect. 
bring down the color a bit more. Something like that. Next, we can choose Edge Detection Vertical, which creates this kind of effect where it just shows our edges. We could offset it, saturate it to add color. We could also invert our colors, which creates this kind of effect. Now, we can't do much with it, but we can bypass it to create an interesting type of effect. So if we turn it on and off, we can automate that effect. Let's go to our track envelopes and turn on bypass as an envelope. Then we can create an automation item, Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, down here, double click it, create an LFO for a square wave and readjust the cycles to how quickly it turns on and off, like this. Pretty cool effect. We could also create a matrix of recent frames, which looks like this, where the recent frames are next to the other ones. And we could change the scale or how many we see, less or more, and readjust the border as well. We could also pixelate the image. Now, by default, it's just going to pixelate one section. Bring it up so you can see it. It's just pixelating right here. We can move it by the X or the Y, or make it wider or more narrow. Let's bring the X all the way down and the Y, and bring the width all the way up. And now we can pixelate the entire thing less or more. And we could use this as a transition as well, or just automate it. Bring it all the way down, touch it, track envelope, create a few points by holding down shift, and bring it up to how pixelated we want it to be. Maybe right there, and it gets pixelated just for a second. We can make it longer like this. And we could also RGB decompose it, which is going to move our red, green, and blue, or offset it from each other. So we can move the red left and right, right here. So it shifts it, or up and down. Do the same with the green side to side or up and down and the same with the blue. So it gives it a shifting color effect, which looks like this. And we can make it subtle or extreme if we want. And we could also do color correction with this preset. So we can readjust our red based on the shadows, give it more or less. Let's bring up the green as well on the shadows and bring down the blue. We'll do the same with the highlights, bring up the red and the green and bring down the blue. We'll do the opposite with the midtones, bring down the red and the green and bring up the blue. But for now, let's bring up the red and the green on the midtones as well and use the fade to bring down the effect. Because right now, it's a bit too strong. So we can use less of it with the fade. Turned off, and just use a bit if we want. It's really useful for color correcting our video. The next one. Is show motion, 
which is kind of a limited effect, but it's also kind of cool. Bring up the gain and create this type of effect. And then finally, stage lighting, which is going to create multicolored lights that go through our video. We can change the speed so they go faster or slower and adjust the alpha to make it more subtle. All the way off and slowly bring it up to how much effect we want. So that's pretty much it. Those are the effects, video presets in Reaper. And once again, we could layer these and use as many as we want to create the video effect we want. So I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.